You know, champions always lose a couple pieces in the offseason, and the Rams are no exception. Von Miller signed with the Bills in free agency. L.A. traded Robert Woods while Andrew Whitworth retired. Now, L.A. extended Matthew Stafford and three of his offensive linemen for a little pass blocking, and the Rams gave him a new toy, too. Wide receiver Allen Robinson is in tow, along with former Seahawks legend Bobby Wagner. So, interesting for these Rams. What are they going to do this year? Let's bring in this man, Dan Orlovsky, to talk it over, our NFL analyst. All right, so Dan, how would you grade the Rams offseason so far? I think it's been really good considering the pieces that they lost. You touched on them. Like, losing a Hall of Fame caliber tackle on Andrew Whitworth, Whitworth is a big deal. But they kept Joe Noteboom, his backup, who ended up playing in the playoffs last year. That's a huge keep. Lose Robert Woods, replace him with Allen Robinson, who's been a really good player in this league without a caliber at quarterback or a player like Matthew Stafford. They've got to attack two different things. I still believe that they need more perimeter weapons. You know, Ryan, last year this team won the Super Bowl, and even though they've added a player like Allen Robinson, their second-round pick out of Louisville, Tutu Atwell, who's a wide receiver, didn't play. So we're talking about an offense that could have Cooper Cup and might keep OBJ added a player like Allen Robinson, do they get any type of contribution from their second round pick from last year? So I still think perimeter weapon could be an option, but defensively, when you lose a player like Vaughn Miller, that's a massive loss. When you lose a player like Sebastian Joseph Day, who went across to the Chargers, that's a relatively big loss. I understand that they signed a player like Bobby Wagner, but I would imagine that they're sitting there going, can we continue to draft really well in those middle to later rounds? That's what their general manager, Les Snead, has done such a remarkable job of. We know that he's traded away all those early mm -hmm. picks, but they have been so consistent drafting in those middle rounds. And I think they've got to try to find some really good players on the interior of their defensive line to keep a player like Bobby Wagner free. They lost their starting quarterback, Darius Williams. So they got to find another starting cornerback as well with all the different things they do defensively. So interior on both sides of the line and cornerback have to be a priority. But the fact that they lost all those players yep. and replaced them or kept them with other really good players still places them as the team to beat not only NFC but in the NFL. So you still give them high grades. Absolutely. It's which is crazy considering the guys that they lost. They've just done a really good job of t finding the, the really specific piece and replacing that piece into the, the hole that was voided. Now let's talk about trying to find the remaining pieces. Draft a couple weeks away. The Rams don't pick in the top 100 picks. Yeah, okay, I mean, it's the way they do business, yeah. but, but how do they address their needs going forward well, without having a pick as high as 104? Well, I think the th interesting thing is if you follow what the Rams and their general manager front office do with less need, they don't really pay attention to some of the kind of the off-season aspects of football. They really focus on the games. They don't spend a ton of time at the combine and whatnot. They didn't even send Sean McVay. But if you look at the way that they have drafted over the past couple years and some of their impactful players – those are guys that have been drafted in the third round or later. One of the best receivers in football, Cooper Cup. John Johnson, a safety that was spectacular for them, who's now with the Browns. Note boom, I mentioned that left tackle. Ernest Jones was such a big player for them last year. Greg Gaines, such a big player for them. Jordan Fuller actually was lost during the playoffs. So uh, the focus for them is, again, replacing that defensive tackle loss in Seb Sebastian Joseph Day. They've got to replace a starting corner that they lost Darius Williams into free agency. And then the interior of their offensive line, while they bring Brian Allen back, who's a key cog, they've got to continue to supplement that. So I think if they do that, again, the main piece is Tutu Atwell, mm -hmm. the second-round pick at wide receiver. If they believe that he's going to take a step forward, at least get on the field, then I do think they can avoid some perimeter weapons since they signed an Allen Robinson. But if they think he's a complete miss, that's going to be another piece that they got to try to supplement into their roster. Okay, Continue be, to draft well. It'll be interesting to see what they do with them. Then you mentioned, again, they don't have a pick within the top 100, but still the Rams currently have the fifth highest odds to win the Super Bowl, according to Caesars Sportsbook. So somebody over there likes them a lot. We'll see how they do. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.